Okay, so the dry sand area. Let's recap a few key points then. So it's a great area, first of all, great area to have, particularly if you've identified your, your young children's needs and you're really going to focus in on those prime areas. Those prime areas in terms of personal, social and emotional needs, particularly if you've got children with specific emotional needs or perhaps special educational needs who will really require those opportunities for soothing, calming, meaningful opportunities that they can return to over a period of time. Dry sand is great for that. Also fantastic for really the other prime areas too, physical development, speech, language, vocabulary, as I've mentioned. In terms of getting it right, do make sure you're not overloading the area in terms of resources. Do make sure you've thought carefully about the learning possibility in terms of the organization of the space and definitely make sure that your adults are engaging in the learning that's here, not just observing from afar, although that has its place, but really engaging in the learning, building those learning relationships with the children and really making a success of your dry sand area.